The Attorney General has been on a tear over the past few days, uh, attacking Black Lives Matter, uh, implying that we might have to start locking up mayors. And then also saying this about the national lockdown that supposedly America had earlier this year. Putting a national lockdown, stay at home orders is like house arrest. It's, the, it's, the, it's you know, other than slavery, which was a different kind of restraint. This is the greatest intrusion on civil liberties in American history. That was a short clip, shorter than most, but man, I hate every word of it. I hate every pixel of it. Um, Anna, what did you think? It's been going around. Well, I think that William Barr is just adding more fuel to the ignorance and stupidity that's been, um, you know, the main response by right wingers in this country. I'm specifically talking about the electorate. You know, I understand the the need to be skeptical of what the government asks you to do. I think that a healthy level of skepticism is okay, but I. I completely disagree that this was done with the intention of violating civil liberties. We're talking about social distancing guidelines that could have, if they were implemented properly and actually followed properly, could have saved tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people's lives. This is a pandemic. That means that you need a collective effort in order to basically slow the spread of this incredibly lethal virus. Especially for people who have um, certain pre existing conditions and members of, um, you know, older demographics. Mm -hmm. I, what William Barr is doing in that statement is basically telling people, no, 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 it's okay. You're actually being much more patriotic in endangering your life and the lives of others by refusing to follow these guidelines. And yeah. it sucks because it doesn't matter how much of a compassionate person you are, how much you take science and the medical advice from people like Anthony Fauci seriously. If you have a significant portion of this country completely disregard what they need to do to protect themselves and others, your actions and your efforts mean nothing. And that's why yeah. we're still dealing with increasing numbers of coronavirus when other countries have actually gotten a pretty good handle on it. Yeah, exactly. Um, he seems to imply, and is he not merciful, that slavery, which he terms another type of restraint, <laughs> is arguably worse. Okay, we'll give him slavery, but other than that, this is the worst. And obviously, people were right to fight against slavery, ergo, you're right to fight against this unconstitutional you know, tamping down of your rights. And um, it's pretty much this and slavery and that's it. Uh, but you know what, we've got an awesome, very well educated audience. So let's play a little game in the comments. So let's see if you can think of other worse offenses against American civil rights and liberties other than just slavery and the, the constitutional limitations provided by this national lockdown. Those are two data points. Let's see if we can fill out that timeline a little bit um, and also, I mean, one part that I, maybe we can just briefly focus on, um, the, uh, the national lockdown was a big violation of our civil rights. What national lockdown? Yeah, what national no lockdown national is lockdown. he referring to there? We didn't have one. We didn't have one. What we had was some areas locking down. Okay, generally across the country, you've had states and localities at various times to various degrees with various levels of penalties having sorts of lockdowns. There was no national lockdown. Trump has fought against it from the very beginning. And on the state level, Republicans have fought against it. So, oh my God, we've got a lot of, a lot of historical notes coming in. Of, well, the forced hysterectomies are definitely another good violation of, um, of our civil rights and liberties. There's a lot of other right. good ones being listed there in the comments. Um, yeah, Jim Crow, that was only like, you know, 60 years plus of uh, persistent violations of civil rights. Uh, mass wave of lynching across the entire South. Yeah, lots of good. Uh, no, not there. Warrants. no, there was no. No knock warrants. No I knock mean, warrants. you know, it continues till today. But there's no, there was no national lockdown. If there had been, perhaps I'd be doing this show from an Applebee's indoors right now with no mask. But we didn't do that. That's why everything is still so locked down. That's why I'm in an abandoned building. Yeah. <laughs> I just think like the absolute disregard for human life is jarring with this administration. And the fact that the Trump administration is just willing to politicize anything for their own political gain, right? They love to make people who are not victims out to be victims. And then their supporters take that message and 
run rampant in our cities. You know, they they run into t- local targets, screaming at patrons who are wearing masks while they're indoors. I mean, th- that's what they've created. They've c- created this incredibly dangerous and divisive environment where people think that they're airing their grievances because they think that they're some sort of victim of a, a big yeah. government. We do have a problem with big government when it comes to certain um, elements of our personal lives. You know, I I mentioned no knock warrants because when you really think about it, uh, in the case of Breonna Taylor, local authorities can literally lie to a judge in order to obtain a no knock warrant and then show up in the middle of the night into someone's home with a battering ram, by the way, to get inside, uh, plain clothes, shoot you up, murder you, and not have to face any consequences for it. That's what happened in the Breonna Taylor case. The the cops Mm -hmm. lied to a judge by saying that the postal service informed them that suspicious packages were showing up to Breonna Taylor's home. Later, the postal inspector was like, "Uh, no, actually no one said that. They lied to the judge. And you know, our civil liberties are being violated left and right every single day in, in real ways. Those stories get ignored. Those types of cases are encouraged by the Trump administration. But when it comes to something as simple as wearing a mask and attempting to just stay indoors and stay away from other people so this virus doesn't spread and kill more individuals, no, that's 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 where the government is a little too big. That's where civil liberties are a problem. Exactly. And as you mentioned, there is no federal lockdown. There never has been, there never will be. Exactly, yeah, yeah, um, no, and I mean, you're, you're right to mention the no-knock warrants. I mean, you know, like plain coast police officers driving up in a Kia minivan, snatching people off the street and driving them away. And God help you if you fight back against what appears in every way to be a kidnapping, because then they'll just gun you down and face no consequences. Uh, Barr doesn't appear to have a problem with that. And every right wing in the country doesn't appear to have a problem with that because they care about law and order and they care about the constitution and they certainly care about civil liberties. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.